<clears throat> All praise and honor, glory to the Most High. I'm gonna let a few people get online real quick. I got a uh, urgent and important message. All right, urgent and important message. Shalom, shalom. All right, this is the urgent and important message. Because I'm watching all the videos. I'm seeing what's going down, what went down. I'm, I, yo, it's in the spirit. I'm calling all camps, all camps, all camps. Shalom came from Japan. All praises, all praises. Yeah, I'm calling all camps. All camps, man. Y'all seen, y'all seen our brothers at WFI, the Watchmen, get attacked by them Palestinians in, in, in Chicago. I'm calling all camps to pull up this Saturday, man. This weekend, man, round two, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? We need to stand by our brothers and pull up. We finna pull up, all right? And we, we want round two. We want to smoke with the Palestinians, with the Israelis, calling all camps. We finna pull up. We finna pull up for our brothers at Watchmen. We finna pull up for our brothers at Watchmen. And 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 we going in, goddamn. We going in. I need I need about an hour and a half to, to flame them bastards. I need an hour and a half speaking time. I'm telling you that right now. We need all the brothers, all the camps to line up. I'm calling, I'm calling all camps. All camps. We need to. <clears throat> we here at GMS, we are not affiliated with any of these individuals and we will, will not be pulling up to any event or any protest for any of this carnal activity. So first and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to you, Akim, out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Now, this individual here, Chief Ephraim, you know, he's always been suspect. He's always been on our radar. He's been being watched, scopeled, um, because that last event, you know, starting with that last event, um, dealing with the um, uh, was it a MAGA protest, something like that, and uh, it was at a Native American on Native American grounds, and and he was there, and there was a crisis actor there, and all all, all things, all things that happened that day was fishy, and that was the first time that the Hebrew Israelites were mentioned. Now he's um, speaking on the situation with the uh, the fight with the Palest the Palestinian protesters and. Um, that Wi-Fi group, okay, the WFI group, and um, those guys. The thing about Jake, most of these Israelites that are that that call themselves in the truth, they're not really in the truth for the right reasons. They're in the truth for clout, for fame, you know, for notoriety, for rank, you know, you know, for women, you know, all different manners of reasons that these people are in the in, in the in the uh, in the truth. Except for edifying the sheep of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh because this is not edifying. Okay, trying to pull up to go and fight a bunch of Palestinians. This is not edifying, and it's not scriptural. Okay, it's not scriptural. Let's go to what what, what, the, what the Lord what the Lord said, man. Zephaniah, man. What did the Lord tell us, man? Zephaniah 3 and 8, it says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. So we're supposed to wait on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Those heathen are going to be, that's the prey of Yahweh Shai. That's not our prey. He's the conquering lion. He's coming to take down the heathen. All right? We're waiting for him to take down the heathen. Okay? You see? For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. All right. So what is he doing? He's gathering them together for war. All right. So what the uh, the Palestinians are doing, the Israelis are doing, 
we, we have no problem with what either of them are really doing because, you know, except for the hypocrisy. That's what we speak on, the hypocrisy between, you know, the the, 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 the small hat show. But it doesn't matter. We, we, listen, at the end of the day, they're fulfilling prophecy. They're doing what they have to do, you know, just like the bricks forming and, you know, these different nations, uh, Ethiopia, um, Iran getting roused up. We love that because that's going to fulfill prophecy. Okay, and it's closer to our salvation, right? It says, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Okay, for then, for then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may call upon the name of Yahweh. That's when all of our people are going to know that they're Israelites and all of them are going to speak the Lashawan Kodash, the true Hebrew. Okay, it says to serve him with one consent. Okay, so what are we doing? We're waiting upon the Lord. We're not coming right now we're um the lord said he sent us out as sheep so you you trying to get this um you trying to get this um this this thing together like a gang war right you're not in the spirit of the lord you're in you're you're in a worldly spirit you're in the spirit of the world and ultimately you you're an agent i believe well i believe he's an agent that's what i believe okay i believe it's, this guy's he's been fishy okay i've been scopeo in this guy he's been fishy uh the, the whole ISUPK, you know, the, especially the specifically the leadership, um, you know, uh, General Yohanna uh, uh, Tozariak, because he's all about fame, too. He's all about clout and fame, and he's all about rubbing shoulders with these celebrities, you know? And when you type in Hebrew Israelites, ISUPK's video is the first one that pops up, you know? This is Matthew 10 and 16. It says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep. In the midst of wolves, sheep are not threatening. Sheep are not calling, uh, you know, for a, for a gang war. Okay, it says be be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And this is not wise, all right? Because you're setting you're setting up a narrative for the Edomites. You're setting up that table for that troop. Basically, you're setting up a narrative, which has nothing to do with what Yahweh Shemayahushai told the prophets to do. To told the, he told the prophets to prophesy. He told the prophets to be watchmen. To warn his people. He didn't tell him to go out there and, and, and fight. It's one thing if you're defending yourself. There's nothing wrong with defending yourself. Someone comes up to you and you know tries to harm you or swing at you. Then yeah, you knock him out, whatever. All right, you defend yourself. But you know, if someone tries to touch your brother, you, you go and you go and defend that. But for you to go and look for something, the the, the the Lord said that that um that vengeance is mine. You're supposed to leave that up to y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai. You're not supposed to go in a, 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 a what's the scripture say? Well, well, render not evil for evil. Okay. You're supposed to leave that to Yahweh Shai, and that's the spiritual route. That's a route, the route uh, uh, um, that that uh, that a true man of the Lord would um, would be moving in. This is Romans twelve and seventeen. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight. of of all men so you said oh yo they try to try they, they they jumped our brother we gonna go back and find him to jump them you know or whatever the case is that's rendering evil for evil that means you don't really believe in y'all by shim you believe in your own might okay because we're not in that time all right yeah if we were coming to take the if we were in the time of a uh, uh, you know the time of joshua and caleb and we we're gonna go take the land that's that's another that's another time that's another spirit Okay, but now we're in the time of of, of, of waiting upon Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay, just like in the time of Babylonians, the Lord clearly commanded us in the time of the Babylonians not to fight against the Babylonians, not to rebel. That's what He said because it was their time to rule, just like it's Esau's time to rule, man. This is First Thessalonians five and fifteen. It says, "See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good." Both among yourselves and to all men. Okay, so you see, you see the point. This is what the scriptures say. So, what are you? What spirit is this guy in? What what spirit is this guy in? In this red room, right? Looking like Satan. <laughs> if they made a movie about Satan, all right. So, so what's that about? You know. So, the, like, I, like we keep telling you, man. You, you keep following these camps and they're going to lead you right to destruction. These are wolves, man. These are wolves in sheep's clothing 
acting as men of the Lord. And if you keep following them, you're going to, hey, you keep following them, man. You're not following Yahweh Shai by following these other camps. I hope you know that. What who you're following is is um is Satan ultimately, but you're not following Yahweh Shai. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. This is Acts 20 and 29. It says, and, and whoever's deceived by them, well, guess what? Yahweh Shai doesn't want you. The Lord, the scriptures say that um uh the, the, the they who follow the, the lamb whithersoever he went. You're not you follow them, you're not following the lamb. This is Acts 20 and, um, and 28. It says, Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, ha hath made you overseers, right? So we're supposed to be overseers over the flock, you know, well, you know, start with the apostles and elders, you know, and the different, you know, the, the different leadership, heads of camps, and so on and so forth. We're supposed to be as overseers over the flock. To feed the church of the Most High, which he hath purchased with his own blood. Okay? And also, and also you know, brothers that are under, right? You know, the, even even down to the, the, the younger brothers, right? You know, sp supposed to be, um, or the newer people that just coming in, they're supposed to be um, watching the people that comes in after them. You know, we're supposed to be our brother's keeper. So that, you know, that's what it means by overseers to feed the church of the most high, which he hath purchased with his own blood. Feed them with what? With the words of wisdom, with the words of understanding, with the truth, building their faith. You know, not teaching them how to be carnal because car the carnal mind is what? Enmity with the most high. It says, for I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you not sparing the flock who are the grievous wolves these guys that's acting like they're they're leaders of israel and so on and so forth they're going to lead you right to a ditch they're going to lead you right to a ditch because when esau gets real and that persecution comes camps like this these other camps that are not in the spirit oh yeah they're, they're, they're going to um change their tune very very quickly very very quickly okay and a lot of you are going to wish you never followed these guys all right. It says also of your own selves shall men rise arise speaking perverse things, right? Daba uh, uh, whatever, all these different all these different mad doctrines that pop up from amongst the body, all right, to draw away disciples after them. Therefore watch and remember. That by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. And because and and why? Because Paul cared about the flock. So he was very serious and adamant about warning them about people like that. Warning them about these people that are going to lead them down a, pl a path of destruction. Okay. This is Galatians 2. Uh, verse 4, it says, and that because of false brethren, unawares, brought in, oh, right, false brethren. Let's deal with the false. These are guys trying to act like they're brothers. They're trying to act like they're, like they're with us. Let's, 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 get, let's look up this word, pseudo, right? Yeah, pseudo. Pseudo, uh, pseudodelphos. Pseudodelphos. Yeah, pseudo means fake. Like it's pseudoscience. Okay. 144. All right, but um, it says a false brother, one who ostent ostentatiously professes to be Christian or follow Yahweh Shai, but is destitute of Yahweh Shai knowledge and, and piety. Right, they're not walking in the ways of Yahweh Shai. They're not walking in the steps of Yahweh Shai. They're not doing the things that Yahweh Shai said to do. But they they keep acting like they're they're following the Lord, like they're for the Lord. You know. These are these are these are the ones that the scriptures say that who say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Yeah, that was speaking about Israelites first and foremost. Yeah, we speak we use it for the small hats, but it, at that time it was speaking directly about other Israelites that were not right. And these guys are those guys. They're not real Israelites in the spirit. They're just they just got the Israelite get up. You know, these are the false brethren, man. Okay, let me read that again. It says, and that because of false brethren unawares brought in 
who came in privately to spy out our liberty, which we have in Hamashiach Yahawashai, that they might bring us into bondage. So there, there's guys around that are really just uh, basically police officers, man. They're police officers for Esau, Edom, trying to act like they're part of this um, this thing. Like that movie Donnie Brasco, man. You know, they they, they they start to they start to get in the spirit of it. You know, read that scripture. God, that, that's right. What did that scripture say? They were memorized scriptures and all that. You know? But they're infiltrators, man. Alright? And they're set up to, you know, to they, they, they're set up to be detonated, you know, to do certain things at certain times by these Edomites that control them. That are not for our cause, but really want to bring us into bondage. They really want to 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 uh, uh, allow us to be blamed. That's why the scriptures speak about Esau as what the accuser of our brethren, to whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour, that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. You know, you're supposed to do things that don't get the gospel blamed, but the the truth, the ministry blamed. But these guys are doing everything in their power. To get the ministry blamed because first of all a lot of them are agents and secondly uh you know they're um they're carnal minded they're not in the spirit and so when these things happen bro you have to understand us that that, that are walking and following after the apostles and elders on down and we're moving in the spirit it, it's going to affect these guys that are not in the spirit a lot more they're going to be like basically like shields from us because they're going to be main easy targets easy targets Okay? And they're not even going to be able to see the danger. See, they might be preaching when the spirit says is the time for the, it's the time for the famine of the world. You might have some of these knuckleheads still preaching. All right. All right. This is Revelations 12 and 10. It says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power. And the power of, of his Hamashiach for the accuser of our brethren or categorio, you no, know, to categorize the one who categorizes us is cast down, which accused us, accused them before our power day and night. And this is what's happening. He's con he's constantly set. He's setting up accusations. OK, especially for the Hebrews. Like that's the main target. OK, the woman said ah, the biggest problem is that. And the young African American community, well, that's okay because they understand. They know that their lives are being broken down through this truth. Okay, they know that. All right, so ultimately, man, this guy, you know, he's talking about, oh, we want to smoke with the Palestinians and the and the the Israelis and this. And that. Well, what, first of all, what did the Israelis have to do with that situation? Why are you bringing them up? They they weren't even there. That was the exact opposition. So why are you calling them out? Ah, because you're trying to, you're trying to, you're trying to get, um, you're trying to get them uh, to, to, to have something to say. You're trying to get them to have something to say about us. Oh, you're trying to get the, the ministry blamed. Like you can go up against <laughs> an Amalek. You think you could go up against Amalek right now? Carnally? Yeah, if Yahweh Shemiel Shah was with us to do that, well, we could take down anybody. But guess what? That's not part of the prophecies. So he's not with it because that's not part of the prophecies. The prophecies is that they're going to go to war and they're going to destroy one another, right? And Babylon's going to be destroyed through nuclear fire in, 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 the, in the, the, the state of Israel. But then, what? Yahweh Shah is going to come in the midst of that, right? Yahweh Shah is going to come in the midst of that and deliver the elect. And all these plagues have to come as well. So, where's that in the prophecy? And thus they shall rise up with so Israel shall rise up with swords and, and uh, you know and deliver themselves from 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 the Edomites. That's not in prophecy. You see, you guys are doing something that's within your own mind, and it's going to lead a lot of people to destruction, man. Man, a lot of things are happening, man. A lot of things are happening. Things are about to get hot. Things are about to get uh, dangerous, like in the times of Acts, and a lot of these guys are not ready. They, they keep following these sheep and these uh, wolves and sheep clothes and see where that gets you. With that, I'll say Shalom.